Now, we're still awfully blown out, right? This is pretty, pretty bright here. I don't need it to be quite this bright. And one way that we might think about changing that is we might come over here to our geo. Uh, we could add a Fong material here. I don't know if that cat is making a purring appearance in this video or not, but if you hear purring, uh, that's Malcolm Reynolds, and he says hello, and he's happy to be coding with us today. Um, let's go ahead and grab our Fong. We're going to drag it onto our Geo, assign it as our material. And one of the things that we could do here is we could start to play with the color, right? So one way we might play with the color is we could actually just change it right here in the material that we're applying. And we could do all sorts of fun stuff here to kind of think about what that might look like in some way. Uh, that, that could be awfully fun. We might approach it this way. Um, I want us to just go ahead and leave this as white, um, but I'm going to turn it down a fair bit. I kind of want it in this kind of dark grayish kind of space. Um, and it's hard to see here when it's composited over alpha, but if we view this instead, we can see that this has got a much more muted kind of quality to it. And this is getting closer to the kind of effect that I want. The longer we stay in one place, the more it kind of burns in. But when there's just kind of quicker movement in here, uh, we end up with this kind of more uh, kind of smoky, surreal -y kind of effect. OK, so we've got an interesting kind of post process that's happening here so far. but. I want this to feel just a little bit more dynamic and have a little bit more kind of character to it. So one of the things that I want to do here is I want to add some color. Now, we saw before that we could add color over here by thinking about how to do it with our material. We can also do that here in Topland by using something like a lookup top. And our lookup top is going to let us uh, kind of describe what we want our uh, values to look like as we go from transparent um, to white, right? We can kind of think of what it means if we go from zero to one, and that is in effect, and in, in is in effect what we're thinking about when we think about pixels, right? We think about a pixel being zero zero zero, and that's transparent, and one 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 would be white. And if you are saying to yourself, Matt, I just don't know if I can believe you there, let's go ahead and add a constant top here to our network. Let's turn that into channel data. We can, in our constant, let's go ahead and set that to have a dimension of one by one. And we can see here that pure white is one, one, one. If we go all the way, right, totally all the way out, our values are zero, zero, zero. Right, we could also have values that were zero, zero, one, and that would be black. So what we're gonna do with a lookup is we're gonna describe in some way, and we'll see what this looks like in a second, what it means to go from zero, 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 all the way up to one, one, one. That's what we're doing in a kind of uh, horizontal lookup table. And we're going to do that in this case by using a ramp. So let's go ahead and grab a ramp. I'll scoot things around here just a little bit. And our ramp needs to be set to be horizontal. We don't need a whole lot of extra information in here. Uh, let's leave it at 256 and set it to be only a single pixel tall. And we're going to go left to right. Let's plug that right into the second input of our lookup, and that looks not very exciting yet. And that should come as no surprise, right? Because we're describing in our ramp what it means to go from 0, 0, 0 to 1, 1, 1. Luckily, our image is already kind of uh, put together in that uh, kind of paradigm, right? Because we're only dealing with colors that go from totally transparent to completely white. And so our ramp then is going to start to function as a way of thinking about what that means. So, you know, let's dig in on that a little bit more. So over here in our ramp, on this uh, ramp key on the far right, let's go ahead and click right on that. Let's turn the saturation all the way up. 
And we can see now that we're going from black to red. Okay, that's still not very exciting yet. I mean, it's nice, but I mean, it could be nicer. So let's go ahead and click inside of our, uh, our colors table here, or in our uh, kind of gradient here to add another key. And let's scoot that over and find another color, right? So now, right, what does it mean to be somewhere in the middle of this lookup process? And we can see now what that looks like, right? We might think about adding another key to this. You can make some things that look really hideous uh, and also some things that look really fun. So, you know, that's part of what's going on here. And the longer we stay in place, the closer we get to white, the closer we're going to get to red all the way over here on the right hand side. Now, this is all well and good, but we still have this like bit of black that shows up because black's all the way over here. So let's add another ramp key. I'm going to go ahead and drop this all the way down into our black range, but I'm going to turn the alpha all the way out. Now, if we look over here, we can begin to see what that means. Oops, it looks like I am clicked on the wrong key. Whoa, oh, bother. There we go. Over here on this key on the far left. This is what I want to turn all the way into alpha. Right, so there, now we're starting to get something that is, that's really fun and interesting. So we might kind of push on this a little bit more to kind of think about what this is going to kind of look like. I want something, I think, today that's got a kind of blue quality all the way here at this far side, and I want it to be a kind of a dark, dark blue there. I think I want my next key to be kind of in this purpley space, not quite magenta but in that kind of dark purple business. I'm going to scoop my other key over here. I think I want that to be more magenta-y, but not too bright. We'll kind of like pull that down just a little bit. There we go. I want something that's over here on the right that's going to be kind of in this cyan blue space that's real bright and hot. And then here, all the way over on the far right-hand side, I want it to end up being white, right? Oops, there we go. Rearrange that just a little bit. Okay, that's pretty close. You know, I might kind of push this around a little bit more and play with what this looks like, kind of reduce this range so that the white is really kind of crushed there in terms of where it shows up. There's still a, a fair bit of this kind of dark, dark black color. So I might lighten that up just a little bit. I might come in here and take some of that total blackness out of it. We can see that composited over here, that's I'm not totally thrilled with that. And that's okay. We might, you know, push down on our alpha here and then add another key. And it's got a little bit more. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, so this is, again, this is kind of something that you, you have to play with to kind of find where you want this to live. And, you know, this you can kind of get lost in this game a whole lot. Uh, it's easy to, to, to just kind of uh, push and play in this a whole lot. Uh, and I would encourage you to kind of explore what this means and how to kind of uh, create looks that you're really excited about. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and push around a few things just a little bit. I'm feeling pretty happy with that so far, I think. I might want this blue to kick in just a little bit earlier. Yeah. I want that to be a little wider. There we go. Okay, that's that's more kind of in line with what I'm looking for.